Hello everyone, welcome to the channel of Developers and Coders Club and IT Agarthala. Here we will be discussing problem B equalize of code forces round 924 division 2. So in this question simply you are given an array of length n and then you have to set a permutation of length n such that you have to try to get a number as max time as possible and return the number of times that number is repeating that's all so let's check the input and output format of the question so simply here in first line you are given the, you have been given the number of test cases and then in each test case the first line is the length of array then n, n integers that that are the part of array and then you have to output the maximum number of element equal to the same number after the operations of adding a permutation now let's see the some the example here so for length 2 array is 1 2 and the answer is 2 so let's see how it works out here so here you can see the given array is this and our permutation is this so if we simply add 1 to 2 then you will get 3 and 1 to 2 again 3 so 3 comes twice that's as max time as possible so answer will be 2 now here for second example 7 1 4 1 now you have to take uh, the permutation of length 4 so how can you take 1, 2, 4, 3? That is one of the best possible answers. And you will get like 8, 3, 8, 4 after adding like 7 plus 1 is equal to 8, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3, 4 plus 4 is equal to 8, and 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. So you can see here 8 is coming twice. So again the answer will be 2. That's it. So uh, how are we actually approaching this? So, first of all, you have to sort this array so that maybe you can find out some length between the digits. Now, eliminate options that cannot be considered. So, simply here, if the two elements are equal, then after the operation, they can never be equal because see you are adding two different numbers to them so there is no way that they can be equal now now third step will be to find a way to get the solution that's when actually you have to watch the problem analyze it and find out what you can do here so what is actually the solution of this problem so solution of this problem will be basically basic idea would be that you will have to travel through whole array and find out some way to get your result. So how will you do it actually? So if you observe carefully then difference between two numbers is less than n only then they can be made equal because you can take only digits from 1 to n 1 to n right so only if difference is under this value then only you can change them and make equal right so we simply simply have to run a pointer in array and find out things accordingly right now let's see it by the code how it is actually working so here is our code and see here first of all we have sorted the array and then remove the equal values so that only unique values remain now here i have used the double pointer method to get a result so first pointer is simply running through whole array and second pointer is simply running from the point of starting and then 
extend to the end at the point where where at the maximum point where the difference is less than m if the difference exceeds m then simply again the main pointer changes till we find out second point such that the difference is under m and then every time it is under m then we simply check the difference between the pair points so that we can find out how many uh, different elements we are able to change and then we simply have to see if that is greater than uh, what we were getting earlier or not and then that would be our result accordingly so this is all for the answer now let's see how this is actually working in a problem so here see the suppose you are given 103 102 104 how is it working so after after sorting it will be 102 103 104 and n will be 3 see n will be 3 that means you can use only uh 1 2 and 3 right so how can you put 1 2 3 here such that you can make them them equal so see the difference is always 1 1 and 1 so you can make how many of them equal let's see so just suppose here uh you try to make 102 and 103 equal right so you will add 2 to 102 and it will be 104 now in 103 you will add this to 1 and you will get 104 again and 104 you have to add 3 and you will get 107 right but can you think of some better way yes there is actually better way uh just see uh if we add 102 plus 3 then you will get 105 and 103 plus 2 is equal to 105 and 104 plus 1 is equal to 105 so simply see here you can cover 3 diff uh 3 by n right actually n is 3 so you can cover here like see differences between 102 and 104 is less than m so you can change all the values between this these two values so here we have shown how it is actually changing and you can see 105 comes thrice so that will that will be our answer to 3 here you can see that the answer is 3 so that's how it all is working actually so simply if the difference between the after sorting the difference between two element is less than m then all element all element between them can made be equal similarly like this one so that would be all for this question here is the code once again i have done it by using a uh, two pointer you can use it use binary search and do it in other way that's it thank you for watching